All right, so I want uh, to make an install video for this newly released mod right here, different uh, SFX or reshape preset for each location. It was re uh, recently released. It's actually a very good mod. Um, the idea behind it is actually very good. It's been talked about before, but never really possible, I guess, until now anyway with this mod. Um, what it does is it will allow a reshape preset to be loaded depending on the location that you are at in your game of Witcher 3. So like White Orchard or Valen Novigrad, um, Skellige or Toussaint, for example. So today I actually released a reshade that supports this mod. It's called Wild Hunt Adaptive, and I have created presets for each of the location that is supported by this guy's mod. So I'm going to show you really quick how to install it so you guys know how to do it without any issues because it does operate a little bit different than just installing reshade 1.1 or 2.0 so there's going to be a couple things that you're going to need one you're going to need this mod and I will provide the link down below um, in the description of this video but you will need this mod right here you just go ahead and click on the files tab and you will download uh, manually this this mod I've already downloaded so I'm not going to download it again and then the second thing that you're going to need is you're going to need my mod, Wild Hunt Adaptive Reshade. And I, I just literally just uploaded this, so um, you'll just go over here to the Files tab and click Download Manually, and it will go to whatever location you have that saved at. So I have them right here already. I got the Wild Hunt Adaptive and then the different uh, Reshade preset mod. And I've already extracted. You're going to want to extract them, and I've already done that here. So I got the folders right here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and open up this different uh, reshade preset folder. And you're going to go ahead and copy these right here, the bin and the mod folder. You're not going to need them after that, you know, so you can just go ahead and close this out. And you're going to want to go to your Witcher 3 folder. Okay, it's where your mods folder is. And you're going to go, go ahead and just right click and go ahead and paste in there. So once you go into your mods folder, you will see that you have his mod installed right here, mod SFX presets. So if you go into your uh, bin and then x64, it's basically where your game exe file is, you're going to see that you have a different suite FX preset folder right here, or uh, application right here. So what you're going to want to do is go into my folder, my mod, and go ahead and copy the locations preset reshade d3 d11 and the reshade copy them you can close that out and then paste and everything is re uh, installed you'll have a locations presets folder which it has all of the presets right here for the region and it's got the master file for the reshade as well and then you got the application here. You want to make sure that whenever you start up your game, you go ahead and double click it and open it up. And it'll bring up this window right here. And you'll see that it's using Reshade. It's picking up that I'm using Reshade 1.1. It detected my Witcher 3 EXE. So when I start the game up, it will automatically start to read my location. Right now it's saying loading preset default because it hasn't detected a location because I haven't started the game. Um, so my default preset is actually the Novigrad preset. So whenever it can't detect a location, it's automatically going to resort back to my Novigrad preset. So one other step that you do have to do when using this mod that the uh, mod author asked for is that your user file, your user any file be not set to read only. Uh, so you go in there into your My Documents, Witcher 3, and open up your user file actually let me back up a little bit right click on it go to properties and make sure that it's not set to read only it needs to access your user any and paste some lines when you start up the game to mark the location that you're at in game so that it knows what preset it needs to load so to do that it needs to be a uh, not locked as a read only file so that's really it that's how you install pretty simple and basic you should be up and running now let me know if you have any issues thanks